good morning from Sagebrush Country in the Henry Mountains of Southeast Utah. They stick up 6,000 feet from the surrounding desert, which means there's lots of cool different vegetation types on them from desert shrubland up through a pinyon juniper belt into ponderosa pine, then dug for an aspen up through spruce, and they even have an alpine zone because they're 11,500 feet. So we're gonna take you over Bull Creek Pass, goes over 10,000 feet, show you how to find it, show you the colors of the aspen, the deer, and other cool things. Hope you ride along. So very Volus flank up in the mountains and in the desert still. There's Gracewood, there's horse brush. Junipers here and there, and a lot of kind of bad land soil. Lower flank of the Henry Mountains from the west side, down in the juniper belt this low. Mountains are over 10,000 feet and a lot of clouds around it right now. It's getting some moisture moving through here. Time to go up and explore them. Working up the Henry Mountains in the solid sagebrush and juniper zone now. Roads, good road, it's just rocky. You gotta take a little slower. Go easy on your tires. Still waiting to see what's up under those clouds, but time will tell. And this is the view back the way we've come, because again, we're coming up the west side of the mountain here. Probably about halfway up this west side and the views are starting to get good when you look out across there. Visibility's not great again today, but looking good. Okay, we've climbed to 9,000 feet now. We're picking up the aspen. Of course, because it's higher, it's colder. So these aspen now have turned. And we're gonna go up to over 10,000 feet at the pass and we'll see some more. Up about 9,500 feet now, and we're into a five needle pine. Uh, probably white bark or bristle cone. I'll look it up. Probably 9,700 feet looking back down where we're coming. Clouds are moving in, so I think we're going to enter in the cloud here in a minute. That's the view back down the road. Sage rush. Five needle pine. Sumac. Looking up towards top of the mountain now. Got the clouds moving in. Boy, the aspen are sure getting pretty up here. Probably about 10 8 now, and we're up into spruce. So up here it's cooler and wet enough to, to grow spruce. Big spruce. Just below Bull Creek Pass. Clouds are clearing for us just a little bit. In the window. Sun. Bull Creek Pass, 10,400 feet, looking down on the east side of the Henry Mountains. Look how beautiful that is. As I said, we've got clouds. This cleared on this side, though, so we can see. 
And right up there is the summit, and there's a little bit of a trail. You can hike up to the summit there. A little bit of a parking area here at the top. So, wonderful drive, really cool. And because I'm always looking at the vegetation, really healthy stand of spruce up here. Some of those are about 80 feet high. Then there's an alpine zone over there, kind of above the tree line, and it probably can't see it. I can see about five or six mule deer grazing on that. So the Henry Mountains, they're a special deer hunting unit. You have to have to draw out kind of a trophy hunting unit. And I know they're blurry, but on this side hill is about 20 deer. And about 15 of them are bucks, I would say. About nine of them are mature bucks, meaning like they're four by fours. Really two or three nice bucks in this group. Again, you can't see at this, uh, at this zoom rate, but really fun to see they're grazing this alpine zone. And you know what? They don't care that we're sitting here watching them. So really cool to see. Right there is about eight bucks that were laying together, eight mature bucks a couple of bruisers. Henry Mountains from the east side. So on the east side of the Henry Mountains now, just a couple miles off Highway 95, as you come in, and I wanna show you this shrub here. It's called black brush. Uh, if you look at it, it looks very dark from a distance. It gets really thick. Uh, to an untrained eye, just like sagebrush or shad scale, and I, I get that, but it's, but it's not. It grows in these lower elevation zones, way lower than sagebrush would grow. It's a member of the rose family, and it actually has lots of little spiny, uh, sticky branches on it. The leaves are these kind of olive green leaves here which are pretty dark and uh, oftentimes when it gets thick like this there's not a lot of other stuff that grows with it as you can see here so just wanted to point that out <laughs> 